Postman Pat and the Rival Delivery Service. Hello there, my name is Postman Pat and this is the story of the time a rival courier company was set up in competition with a special delivery service and how I used my insider knowledge of correlation and regression to study the threat. Once upon a time the special delivery service was the envy of the world. The postmistress Mrs Goggins, latterly Mr Taylor and I were admired for our efficiency and personal touch. But where there is a successful enterprise, there will always be other entrepreneurs trying to oust the competition and grab business for themselves. One Tuesday, I was doing my usual deliveries and fixing problems. I fixed the guttering at the police station for PC Selby and rugby tackled an assailant running out of Michael Lamb's mobile shop. On my return to the sorting office, I could see that Mr Taylor had bad news for me. Don't let my smiley disposition fool you, Pat. I've been counting the takings from the past week, and they seem to be lower than usual. You know what? If I was a conspiracy theorist, I might just hypothesise that the opening of the exclusive delivery service might be related. The exclusive delivery service was a rival delivery service, set up by Mr Taylor's arch-rival Mr Goggins, a strange husband of Mrs Goggins, the postmistress. I needed to investigate whether or not the exclusive delivery service really was responsible I drew on my years of statistical experience. How to compare the relationship between two variables? The solution was obvious. Correlation and regression. I was instantly reminded of the correlation coefficient song, the tune made famous by the Beat Combo Liberty X, four of whom were shown in the poster on my wall. Either Tony or Kevin is missing. I don't remember or care which. Firstly, I told Mr Taylor, we need to tabulate the number of daily deliveries made by both companies in the past week. Let ours be called X and theirs be called Y. We then need to find the X squared values, the Y squared values and the XY values and then the totals of each. Mr Taylor nodded ignorantly so I drew the table for him. Then we use the formula shown where SXY is this and SXX is that etc and n is the number of pairs of values. Since SXY is negative, any correlation will be negative, but the rest of the sum then shows us how weak or strong that correlation is. Ah, a PMCC of minus 0.829 is strong negative correlation, indicating that when ADS has a high number of deliveries, we have a low number, and vice versa. What also might be quite insightful would be the equation of the regression line. Mr. Taylor shrugged his shoulders in awe. The regression line equation is y equals a plus bx, where a is the y-intercept and b is the gradient. You start by finding the value of b by dividing your value of sex into sexy. For the y-intercept, you rearrange the equation to say a equals y minus bx, then substitute in the mean of x and y, which are often called x-bar and y-bar, and the value of b you found before. I looked across the room, and Mr Taylor was drifting in and out of consciousness. Wake up, Mr Taylor, I shouted. This is where it gets interesting. The expression on Mr Taylor's face suggested he didn't believe me. The correlation coefficient confirms your suspicions, Mr Taylor, but the regression line equation tells us the extent of the problem. For every delivery we lose, they gain 0 0.737 deliveries, and if we didn't have any deliveries they would have 13.16. This analysis was all Mr Taylor needed to arrest his slumber. Now we had evidence. He ordered me out of the sorting office immediately to put into effect any necessary measures to ensure the survival of the special delivery service. I'm not proud to say that after a few flat tyres and a detour into the lake, the exclusive delivery service was no longer a competitor. Another adventure has ended for me, Postman Pat, my black and white cat Jess and my encyclopedic knowledge of statistics.